In 2011, the National Library of Medicine celebrates its 175th anniversary. From John Shaw Billings to Donald A.B. Lindbergh. Hi, Donald Lindbergh. It's August 1984, and Dr. Lindbergh is sworn in as director of the National Library of Medicine, inheriting the mantle of leadership and commitment to excellence that is traced to the iconic Dr. Billings. From the end of the Civil War to 1873, Lieutenant Colonel John Shaw Billings increases the library of the Army Surgeon General from 600 volumes to 50,000 volumes. And in 1879, he creates the Index Medicus, a truly international comprehensive index of the medical literature of the day. Through the years, NLM grows steadily in importance and breadth of mission, always building upon its founding roots. In 1965, Congress passes the Medical Library Assistance Act, which launches the national network of libraries of medicine anchored by eight regional medical libraries. The regional medical libraries and national network of libraries of medicine are vital to NLM's outreach efforts. All of these are avenues in which NLM is able to reach out to uh, underserved and minority populations. In 1968, it is again the U.S. Congress where a joint resolution establishes the Lister Hill National Center for Biomedical Communications, which is to be the research and development arm of the library harnessing the fruits of the computer revolution. And the notion that we should build computer systems that could understand medical meaning is an idea that Don Lindbergh came to the National Library of Medicine with in 1984. In 1986, the NLM develops a visionary long-range plan that endorses both the concept of the library taking an active role in biotechnology information and the creation of a national center. So in 1988, Congressional Mandate gives birth to NCBI, the National Center for Biotechnology Information. And with the worldwide explosion of medical information and the ever-increasing appetite for more, NCBI quickly becomes ground zero for such projects as the Human Genome and PubMed Central. NCBI has already had a profound effect in how biomedical science is conducted, not just in the U.S., but around the world. Another outgrowth of the long-range plan is the development of two unprecedented image-based visible human data sets, male and female. As the public demands more and more health information, NLM responds with an array of programs, including clinicaltrials.gov, the Disaster Information Management Research Center, health and safety information in the Household Products Database, Medline Plus, and Mobile Medline Plus. There is the Medline Plus Twitter feed and the Medline Plus magazine in print and on the internet. Also, the library is a major player in the national quest for electronic patient records. And NLM research and training grants support rigorous scientific study nationwide and internationally in biomedical informatics and bioinformatics. It does help a lot to uh, set out in the morning and being proud of your institution. And I, I still can honestly say that every morning I do feel that way. NLM continues to discover innovative ways to meet its mandate to collect organize and make available biomedical information to scientists, educators, practitioners, and just plain everybody for the benefit of the public's health. It's a great place, great people.